And because I wanted to dive into Crawl's motivations and, and you know, what makes him the man that, that he is and the man he becomes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I see him as sort of a, a war, warrior without a war. Uh, yeah, I think he's, he's a warrior without a war. That's a good way to put it. I think he um, wants to rage a war. Um, and by the time we meet him in this film, he's devised quite a clever plan to rage war. So yeah, I think that's a good, good way to describe him. Why is he so bitter about what happened to him? I think he's bitter because basically he left. I think uh, he was a soldier that was repositioned into being this captain on a starship for the Federation to do some, you know, clean up work, hey, go check this planet out and tell them about the Federation, gets there and gets left there. And probably as well, you know, the indigenous race on Outer Media, the planet they land on, uh, didn't treat him very good, probably. Yeah. You know, so I suspect that um, that bitterness, you know, being left, having to change one's DNA in order to survive longer, and, and all that time to harbor all that resentment is definitely made him bitter. Yeah. I, one of the things I really like about the movie and, the, and about him and is he, it feels like it's talking a little bit like it's doing that thing Star Trek does so well, which is it's talking about our world through 23rd century mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. And he seems to me to be in a way a guy, you know, one of, like a veteran who's, whether, it's, he's, whether he's correct or not, he feels as though he's been forgotten or abandoned by his own country, mm -hmm. which is something that that is happening in the here and now and has happened for for many years. Did you see any of that element to it when you read the script? Well, of course, you know, Justin Lin was sort of, you know, using parallels, of course, to, to sort of um, explore the world further. And I do that as well. It's like, how does that relate to us? Because ultimately, the audience have to sit there and go, hmm, do I relate or not? And you're talking about a film that deals with out of space characters, the Federation, you know, space travel, you really have to find components in that sort of film to relate to modern audiences. And I suppose, but we didn't labor it. You know, if you can pick that up, which I'm glad you have, great that you can pick up. There are some parallels. Um, I think that's what great filmmakers should do. Yeah, sure. Uh, what about the going back to it gets a little nerdy here, but going back to like the Star Trek Enterprise, the, the TV show, like you're wearing those uniforms. That's like the you have the ship that's sort of from that. Did you go back? Like, did you know that show or did you go back to watch those episodes or anything? I didn't go back, but it took me back. It took me back, you know, wearing the yellow and being on, you know, on that old ship and whatnot. It definitely, I sat in the captain's chair just to do it. <laughs> 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 well, you can now say you've been a captain of a starship, which you know not too many people can, I can say, say that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I can definitely say that.